And happening tonight, there are new developments in the coronavirus pandemic cases here in America. They are soaring past 4,400 tonight. There are also 87 deaths, including one right here in Clark County. And we've learned that victim is a man in his 60s. The health district saying that he had underlying health conditions are also confirming he had been hospitalized, but no other details were available. There are 35 confirmed cases here in Clark County. Officials are also saying more testing will be available later this week. And tonight we are also learning more about the spread of the virus and how those in our community have no choice but to confront the situation head on. And 13 investigator reporter Joe Bartels right now is live at Metro Police Headquarters with the details on this, Joe. Well, Todd and Tricia, police and other first responders have absolutely no choice, as you said, but to respond to emergency calls. And we have learned that at least two Las Vegas police officers were requested to be tested after coming in contact with a presumptive, presumptive positive person. Las Vegas police are on high alert for danger, but that now includes a new danger they can't see. Initially, when I first had a case where a couple officers were in contact potentially with a subject that was presumed to have the coronavirus, uh, I kind of jumped the gun and, and told the sheriff, hey, I want them tested ASAP. Steve Grammas, president of the Las Vegas Police Protective Association, says it turns out the officers had minimal risk of contracting COVID-19 and will be just fine. But other officers have expressed their work-related concerns as more positive cases turn up. We've had a, f a flood of phone calls come in, emails, asking questions. Pretty much I've had almost daily meetings with the sheriff and talked about certain issues that we're, we're seeing. And Grandma says officers and the department are taking a proactive approach to combating the spread. Already, officers are trained to notice the signs and symptoms of other infectious conditions like tuberculosis, a bacterial lung illness. It's a lot more about, hey, basic common hygiene, right? Wash your hands as often as you can. Uh, clean your hands with uh, disinfectant. Clean your cars, clean your gear. Don't bring anything home to the family. Are you with the patient right now? Over at Las Vegas Fire and Rescue, calls are screened for possible COVID-19 risk. A spokesperson telling us earlier this month, it starts with simple questions. If it's that protocol that we think that that person might have that virus, we will notify the crews to take special precautions to protect themselves, and we will also no notify the facility that that person is being transported to so they are ready to accept that person also. As the situation unfolds, the gaming industry and hospitality workers are also on the front lines of helping to slow the spread. These casinos are practicing social distancing. Other casino hotels are actually closing completely. So the industry is being allowed to decide on their own, but they're following the science. And the Clark County Detention Center also announced that they are screening each and every inmate that comes in there for symptoms of COVID-19, and they are being isolated and watching them for 14 days. Reporting live, Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.